what's up guys once again you are welcome to my channel today all right uh the chairman of the code of conduct Berio has raised an alarm that presidential elect governors elect and national assembly elect both state and the federal who hasn't submitted their form for asset declaration will not be sworn in on the may 29th of may you know uh, 2023. now the chairman here said that in the past uh, there are some office holders who has always boycotted the code of conduct burial and get sworn in at the end of the day but it's not going to be business as usual again after he said this um, a lot of people begin to raise uh the dust what many people actually thought about is tenobu and kashima now these are the the most powerful elected officials for now in nigeria and these are the fact that everybody is looking at May 29, whether the court is going to give a verdict or decide who is the winner of the election, then we are now having the Code of Conduct Bureau coming out that should any elected officer not declare their, their asset, they will not be sworn in. And information added that up to now, um, both Tinubu and Kashima and the rest of the senators have not sworn in because usually in the past, most of them get sworn in without even declaring assets. All right, right now, the information we are having now is that the, the amount of assets owned by Tinubu is estimated that even Dangote is not even richer. He's not even rich if he's it, if it, if compared to Tinubu. Dangote is not a rich man, if you mention to him, because this guy, this man is stinkingly rich from stolen funds, you know, that he has, he has stolen. He's estimated that Tinubu is the number one landlord in Africa. The man is stinkingly rich. So people are saying that he might not even declare assets. He might not. Now, this is not the first time Tinubu will be having uh issues with code of conduct burial i think some years back he was sued you know that he did not declare assets when he was lagos state governor he never declared and now the law of uh ccb or code of conduct burial is that you must declare asset upon entering office and upon leaving office you must declare asset you know that's what code of conduct burial says so from the look of things now it appears that some elected officers are beginning to feel they have immunity and might not even want to to declare their assets and we are looking at we are looking at now at tinobu and kashima these people might want to float the order and and you know go ahead not to declare their order but we're waiting to see what will the ccb do are they just only speaking the CCB is just like a court, but in reality, it's not really a court. It's just a barrier that has to do with public asset declaration of officials. So what do you guys think about this development? Please, you can drop your comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. This is Macom TV. God bless you.